Hi, everyone. Max Emmer here from Emmer Law. I'm joined today by an attorney who practices in one of the most important areas of law, trust and estate. Andy Cada, Cada Law. Thank you for jumping on. How are you? I'm not. I'm doing well, Max. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Sure. And Andy, you know, we could obviously, we could be here all day talking about the basics of estate planning. And I would advise people, if you want to have that conversation and learn more, reach out to Andy, set up a consultation. But given my divorce practice, your estate planning practice, there's a lot of interplay. And I wanted you to advise people at the end of every one of my cases, that is a major life cycle event. And I instruct them to meet with an estate planning lawyer to either obtain a plan for the first time or have their plan updated and amended. Yeah. In your professional opinion, why is right after a divorce such an important opportunity and time to evaluate one's estate plan? Yeah, I mean, anytime there's a major change in life, birth, death, divorce, you should be updating your estate plan. And if you don't have an estate plan, that's a good time, like you said, to establish one. But Divorce specifically, you're going to go through a lot of changes. There's going to be financial changes. Your family dynamic also will change. Property ownership changes. You may now have different financial objectives or goals than you, you had when you were married. So it's, it's a good time to look at what you have, see what you can do to protect that, and make sure that those assets and your loved ones are taken care of for the future. Yeah, absolutely. And, and you know, I even tell people, depending on their personal needs of their case, I'm happy to loop in an estate planning attorney, especially in prenuptial agreements, yeah. um, to mirror things. But if I'm working with a client and Andy's working with them or vice versa, I'm always happy to provide the judgment language and anything else that was agreed to, to clients in Andy to ensure that anything that was changed or awarded or deviated from, from the marriage to now the divorce estate can be implemented correctly and accurately in your future estate planning documents. And would you say um, for people who have existing documents, Andy, is it absolutely essential that they have those for you to review or can you sort of start from scratch? It's preferable to have those. We can definitely you know, have a conversation, but if we're going to get into the, the nuts and bolts of it and they're going to work with me, we're going to need those documents to make sure that we're adhering to the different judgments or the different decisions that were made during the, the divorce. So I, I definitely like to have those to look at, but to get the process started, you know, it's always a conver uh, an initial conversation with the clients to see what their goals are. But as we get the documents in place, we want to make sure we're consistent with, you know, what's gone on before. Sure. No, I, I think that makes sense. And anyone out there listening, um, if you're going through a divorce or finishing one up, get an estate plan. If you're not, my advice, please heed it. Everyone and anyone needs a basic estate plan. And we're going to talk next yeah. about demystifying the process and how taking these steps now will reduce your anxiety, protect your family, and take care of those you love in the long run. Thank you so much, Andy, for joining me. And everyone have a great day. Thank you for having me.